to pester some of the fish in the, the tank. And so, uh, if you know the biology of these creatures, so, ooh, you almost got me. Uh, <laughs> if, like just like the lizard who loses its tail, it's a self-defense mechanism, which basically means it'll lose its tail in order to avoid being killed. So if something grabs a lizard's tail, it can lose its tail and run away. So the same thing here, if a bigger crawdad grabs onto his claw, oh, he's gonna grab, grab me, okay? See, he let it go. Oh my God. And he let it go. I didn't pull that off. All I did was squeeze here. And right here, you can see, this is the joint at which it attached to him. And he was able to close that off. And now the claw falls off. Oh my God. So this is his remaining claw. Now, we could do that with the other one, but I'll probably save this for the other class. But I just wanted to show you guys that uh, some of our animals have unique uh, abilities oh, to lose it. Now, it seems mean and cruel, but this number one, it's painless because it, it chose to do that. And number two, it will grow back another claw. So you guys will see one, he will have one giant claw and then one baby little claw. <laughs> and then as it grows, we'll, we'll clip them. And in fact, if we want, you can actually eat this thing. Oh! oh. I want to eat it. Uh, maybe we can go oh. in the class and cook it up. Okay. You smell like sweat! Anyway. Oh, I can't breathe anymore! Violent. Violent. Yes, you know that